There's a fun aspect of Sokatoa that I want to deal with in this video, and that's when the unknown that we're looking for, the unknown side, is in the denominator of the fraction. Things get a little bit freaky, so we're going to talk about that in this video. Trigonometry with the unknown beneath. Let's draw a triangle so we can have an example to show you what I'm talking about. Here's our right angle triangle. And we can tell it's right angled because we have the little box in the corner. We would always have a little box. And in this example, we're going to be given one of the sides. The side here is going to be, let's draw it in a smaller font. This is Y. Let's call it side Y. And this side here is 7.6 centimeters. And we have an angle here of 54 degrees. And our challenge is to find the side Y. We can kind of tell that we're going to need trigonometry because we have a right angle triangle and we have an angle involved. So it's not going to be Pythagoras. Let's first label our sides. How about that 7.6 centimeters? Well, that side is touching the angle and it's also touching the right angle. So it must be the adjacent. The Y is the longest side and it's also opposite the right angle. So it must be the hypotenuse. The opposite, we don't know and we're not looking for it, so we can just ignore it. Which one of Sokatoa deals with the hypotenuse and the adjacent? That would be cosine, because cosine is the relationship of the adjacent divided by the hypotenuse. So cosine, but then we don't write equals, we write cosine of the angle. It's always sine the angle, cosine the angle, tan the angle. In this case, cosine of 54. It lets the calculator know which angle you're talking about, because otherwise you get different answers if you pick different sides and different angles. So cos of 54 equals so it would be 7.6 divided by y. Now, how do we work that out? Well, this is where the video comes in, because you notice the unknown is beneath. The unknown y that we're looking for is in the denominator of the fraction. Now, there's a short way and a long way of solving this, and I want to very quickly show you the longer way, just so you understand how to do the shorter way later on and you don't feel like it's just a cheat because I want to show you how it works and then we can do the shortcut later on how it works is this how do we get rid of that y on the bottom line that divide by y to get rid of divide by y you times by y to both sides so times by y and times by y on the left hand side we would get y times by cos 54. On the right hand side, the divide by y and the times by y cancel out, so you're just left with 7.6. So we have y times by cos 54 equals 7.6. But we wanted to find out what y is. We would divide by cos 54 to both sides. So divide by cos 54 and divide by cos 54. What does that get us? Well, we will be left with, on the left-hand side, y, and on the right-hand side, 7.6 divided by cos 54. Let's get our calculator out, and then work that one out. So we would do, just type it in, exactly as it says, 7. 0.6 divided by cos 54 and that is 12.93 12.93 centimeters there we are we've solved a trigonometrical question when the unknown was in the denominator and those tend to be the hardest examples so let's do one more just so we can feel confident that we're on this thing Okay, here's another triangle. Let's 
let's label some of the sides. Let's pretend in this question we are given this side here as being A, and let's call it Z. And let's say that we have, uh, I've changed my mind, let's call the hypotenuse Z, and let's call this side 5.6 meters. And we have an angle down here of 45 degrees. And our challenge is to find Z. We can go a bit more quickly because we know what we're doing now a bit. Let's label our sides. Z is the longest side and it's opposite the right angle. So we can call that the hypotenuse. The 5.6 is far away from the angle, not touching it. So it's the opposite side. What's the relationship that involves opposite and hypotenuse? That would be sine because of so, opposite and hypotenuse. So we have sine of the angle, so sine of 45, but not just sine of 45, sine of 45 equals the opposite divided by hypotenuse. Don't forget that other side of the equation. It's quite easy just to type in sine 45 and then get a bit lost. So we need to remember that equals the opposite, which is 5.6, divided by the hypotenuse, which we don't know. We just call it z. Now we can actually use the shortcut. You see in the previous question, what ended up happening is instead of it being 7.6 divided by y, it ended up being 7.6 divided by cos 54. In other words, the y and the cos 54 swapped places. This is the trick you can always use in trigonometry if the unknown is beneath. You can swap the places of the unknown and the trigonometrical function with the angle, so the sine 45 or the cos 54 or the tan anything. Basically, you swap the unknown with the left-hand side. So what you get is z now equals 5.6 divided by sine 45. They've swapped places. And that's the shortcut. But the method that we used in the long way explains why this is true. It's not just a cheat. It's basically a shortcut for, for uh, times in both sides by z and then dividing by sine 45. Now we're ready to use our calculator. 5.6 divided by sine of 45 gets us 7.92 meters. So the answer to this question is 7.92 meters. So to recap, if the unknown is beneath, when you're doing your trigonometrical equations, you now know what you need to do. You can simply swap the unknown with the angle and sine or angle and cos, etc., and then divide the, the two terms.